guys welcome back to my channel i'm so happy that you're here sorry uh this week's video you already guessed it you already saw the title okay it's another week in the life another week come spend an my battery is about to die <laughs> okay we're back we back we changed the battery you already saw the title this week is another week in the life because honestly everybody's been asking me and they just are so curious to know what a week in my life entails like everybody's been dying to know like because i live a really interesting life and everybody's just been like kiana i just i just want to know what it's like to live your life in your shoes for a week like i just want to know what you do like everyone has literally been on their knees begging me to film another one of these videos so that's why i do them because you guys keep asking and by you guys i mean literally nobody nobody was on their hands and knees i just like filming them we're gonna do that this week i am only scheduled to work three days this week i have this one piece in the back of my head that i'm trying to like put back in my scalp i just filmed a makeup tutorial if you're wondering like wow your makeup looks so good i just filmed a tutorial on this look by the time you're watching this that video will already be out so go watch it it's not like your typical makeup tutorial okay it's a little bit different because i don't know i'm quirky so i hope you like it tomorrow after work i'm gonna stop at rite aid and get some stuff because i have to get some stuff that's all i know right now as of now i'm not sure what the rest of the week will entail i know i have a few i think i have two depot packages coming i got a shirt and i got a jacket and that's it so we will see you will you will come with me along for the journey along for the ride and one thing's for sure we're gonna have a silly goose time okay I'll see you in the next clip. As a little bit irritated. It's still Sunday evening, as you can tell. I've been editing the video that I filmed this morning. It's almost done. So tomorrow when I come from work, this is what I'm going to have to do. Just finish editing this video. Vibes. Feel the vibes. Feel the vibes. You see the vibes? These are the vibes. Feel the vibes. I have a Fruity Pebble scented candle going that I made myself last year okay my sister got me salt and vagina chips shout out you sister i love you so i've been munching on those i'm about to take my makeup off for the night and go to bed because i have to wake up tomorrow it feels weird holding my camera without the tripod on it i kind of like it though anyways good night i'll see you tomorrow mm. Yippee Kai fucking A. Hey girl, it's home. Your girl is how do I say tired? I just worked eleven hours today. I'm supposed to finish editing my video. That's supposed to go up tomorrow. My makeup tutorial. Give me a second. I'm gonna change. So I got these pants from Depop a little while ago, and um, they're too long. They're too long. They don't fit. I'm too short. So, I have to like roll them up. I got a, um, 
I'm not in a bad mood, by the way. I know, like, it, it may seem like I'm in a bad mood. I'm not. I'm in a perfectly fine mood. I'm just exhausted. Like, I am tired of shit. I think I probably got, like, four hours of sleep last night. And I didn't, like, realize how much of an impact that was going to have on me. You should probably sleep more than four hours before working in on an 11-hour shift. Today wasn't even that bad. It wasn't even that bad of a day. We weren't too busy. We were steady, but we weren't too busy, you know? Good vibes, good vibes. Overall, I'm going to give you a haul of what I got to write in here in a second. But I just need to, like, get situated as one does when they get home from work so just give me a second i um we not doxing ourselves we're not doing that i got this shirt from depop like a month ago and just now came in the mail yesterday and i've been wanting to wear it with these pants so I'm gonna put it on. Be well back. I got a um, McChicken. I finessed the kitchen into making me a free McChicken since I didn't get to have one on my break. Since I ordered one, I didn't get to get it. Because the bats weren't on. So I got a free make chicken and bacon and I got a little ranch cup and I put ranch on it and that shit was so buzzing. It's still boycott McDonald's. I'm just saying like when that shit is actually fresh, that shit slapped me so hard in the face. I saw stars. Like it was so good. It was like the best chicken bacon ranch sandwich I've had in a long time. But anyway, this is the shirt. I love it. I love the material. I love how it feels. I'm probably not going to wear a tank top on underneath because you can, like, see it. I don't look the best in orange. I don't usually wear orange or red because I'm a redhead, so it kind of, like, contrasts, if you will. You know, you want to know something? You want to know something? You want to know what I did like about these pants? Look at this. Can you see, can you see this? Can you see this? Like, it makes my ass look fucking huge. And one thing about me, I don't have, I, it's a pancake back there. Like, I don't get shit back there. But sometimes if you're wearing pants, that make it look bigger than Jupiter. But you know what? I think I'm probably gonna end up repopping this shirt because I don't like the color on me. <laughs> I love how it feels though. I love, like it feels very cozy and comfy. And I love like the fabric and I love how it looks. I just don't like the color. Like I wish it was like, like beige or like a neutral color, you know? I turn my mirror light on just for you guys. You should be so thankful that I just did that. Oh, you should be so thankful. Let's get into the haul. So I didn't even end up getting everything that I wanted or needed. I forgot to put deodorant on this morning and my coworker Gabby let me use some of her deodorant. God bless Gabby. Thank you Gabby if you're watching this. She had the native coconut one and that's I think that's literally legitimately the one I had before I got this one. I had the native coconut and I had the native lilac one and I think at some point I had the sandalwood one. I I'm going off track. Stay focused. Um, so I got more lashes because I need more lashes. I was not wearing these again tomorrow. These need to be done. In fact, I'm gonna throw all of these out right now. You know when like your lashes are just like done, like they're done. Like you gotta throw those biddies away. 
I can't wait to rip these off of my face. So, if you didn't know, my lashes that I wear are the Kiss 11s exclusively. Tana Mojo said in her How to Kick Your Face Like a Pro back in 2017 that these were her lashes and I liked them. I thought they looked pretty on her, so I've just been wearing them ever since. And my other favorite YouTuber, my fam, also wears Kiss 11s, so guess what? I also wear Kiss 11s and I've been wearing them since I was a sophomore in high school. I have yet to find another lash. It just looks good on me. Okay. I got my um, foundation and my concealer. I was going to get the L'Oreal telescopic mascara because my sister Caitlin has been recommending that for like a long period of time. Probably like two years now. She's like, oh my god, Laura Telescopic, Laura Telescopic, Laura Telescopic. And everyone's like, oh my god, Laura Telescopic. That pity is $15, at least at the right aid that I went to. Oh, by the way, this went up a dollar. This was $7. I don't know if it's just the right aid I went to, or if it, if it inflationated into a dollar more all across all right aids in the world, on all drugstores of the world, but... went up a dollar um so i didn't end up getting the l'oreal telescopic i don't need mascara right now like the ones i have will be fine and i'm sure i've said this in other videos before but you can put saline solution in your mascara and it makes it wet again so that's usually just what i do to get the last of the product out and it buys me some time oh and then the last thing that i got <laughs> I love e.l.f., okay? My favorite drugstore brands are e.l.f. and NYX. I don't know why, I just love e.l.f. Like, I just think they're so cute and aesthetic and like, they just have good quality products. I um found these cute little eyeshadow palette. Like, you cannot tell me those aren't cute as shit. I got, this one's just like plain colors, like plain neutral matte colors. And then this one has like sparkly ones. They were like, I think these were like $3 each. But I especially want to use this one. And then they had another one that was like a knockoff of the Naked 3 palette. Which I have always wanted. But I have yet to get it. Um, but that one was like $10. So I was like... I love this vibe though. I love... I love this little vibe, like this is so cute. So I, j I just got them. I didn't need them, but I was there and I was like, might as well. I might just fuck around and wear eyeshadow tomorrow. I don't think I've ever worn eyeshadow to work before, but my earrings are palm trees. So nobody can talk to me. Yeah, that's everything that I got for now. I still need to get conditioner at some point because I'm out of conditioner. I literally wrote, where is my phone? I wrote a um, list called Rite Aid Trip. And I wrote lashes, mascara, I didn't get mascara. Elf foundation. Elf contoured bronzer thingy. Because my friend Madison said a get ready with me for work snap to our snapchat group and she had the liquid elf contour thing and I was like I need that and I looked for it but I couldn't find it so but I brought that down I did get concealer Maybelline fit me in powder I didn't end up getting because I think it was like $11 I was like I don't need to spend $11 on setting powder right now maybe when I get paid but that's just not like a need like foundation concealer lashes not even foundation, like concealer and lashes. That's all I need. Like, so I'm just trying to like prioritize, okay? Um, cond conditioner and shampoo, I didn't end up getting those either. So, anyways, I work tomorrow. I need to finish editing my makeup tutorial. That's supposed to go up tomorrow. I don't have the energy. What time is it? 4.30. So I have like an hour and a half before I go to bed. 
So I'm gonna put some Brittany Broski on and just try to finish editing this video. It's pretty much done, it's almost done. I still have to edit the thumbnail though. I don't know what it is, but I just think, is that a fucking blackhead on my arm? Well, whatever it was, I just scraped it off. And one thing about me, I do be getting body acne, okay? Body acne girlies, stand up. I get body acne mostly right here on my arms and on my back lately. I don't know if you can really tell, but like last week I had like at least like six pimples on my back and that shit was fucking disgusting. I wash my sheets. I think it's because I use a loofah in the shower and that shit like collects bacteria. I've been meaning to buy the like silicone body scrub thing. I don't even know what that's called, but I want to transition. I want to end my loofah era and enter that era. So I can stop getting body acne. Cause that shit is fucking disgusting. Okay, I'm gonna finish editing my makeup tutorial. I'll see you in a little bit. I'm literally running on fumes right now. Did you hear lesbian flag pride colors? What? <laughs> I'm looking at your lesbian you pride flag colors. The orange and the pink are the lesbian pride colors. Are they? Yeah, it's like pink, white, and orange. I love lesbians. I've dated a bunch of them. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be like that. Look at Morgan. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, it wasn't bad. I didn't drive myself. You're not only Yeah. Thank you. I did that thing where I went, like, shut my lights out and it was better at least. But I ended up staying up and watching what was on my TV. I so. do that too. Because I was, like, on my phone but, for, like, an hour. I'm like, why am I even, like, trying to do like
Oh my god, look at me. I'm so short. I'm so cute and petite and short and cute and adorable. Wow. Speaking of that, I just want to say really quickly, just real quick, just real quick. I just want to say men confuse me because I look at me, okay? Just look at me for a second. I don't look any different than I do on the average day. Like this is what I look like every day. This is, this is what I look like pretty much on the rag, right? And you know, I mean, so like I know it's not coming from like a romantic place. I don't think but i don't okay i don't think that i am the prettiest girl in the world i don't think i'm ugly but i don't think that i'm like i don't know like the best looking girl in the world and you know sometimes men just be like i just felt like people were treating me differently today at work for some reason like there's this one person who called me gorgeous twice not once but twice who's never called me gorgeous before and i'm like why today out of all days like what i look the same as a normal little and then there's this other kid that we work with who was laughing a little bit too extra hard at all of my jokes even the ones that weren't funny so i don't know i don't know what's in the air maybe i, I I think I'm the concept that I'm learning in this era of my life is how people perceive you and it is quite possible that people perceive me differently than how I perceive myself maybe I am just drop-dead gorgeous and I just don't see it you know and I found myself like suppressing myself a lot today like every time i'd like start to become a little bit too talkative and too expressive and too animated that voice in the back of my head was like keanu you're being annoying like they think you're annoying they think you're annoying and they want you to shut up but they're too scared to tell you so i would just like stop talking and i would like kind of like withdraw myself but then i'm like the amount of people that come to me initiate conversation the amount of people that go out of their way to spark a conversation with me first. Like if they're going to me and talking to me first, then that is a clear indicator that they like me, right? This is all like word vomit, by the way. I know I'm not like making coherent sense here. I don't know. I just worked 11 hours. I am tired. I need to edit my thumbnail so I can get my video up. 
before 6 o'clock. I want to upload it at 6 p.m. Anyways. Yeah, I don't know. And then there's this other thing. And I don't know. I don't know how to. I don't know how to um, process this or perceive this, but men are touchy, and I don't know if that means, I don't know what that means, but for me, as a woman, It takes me a while to like open up to you as a friend like just from like a platonic standpoint like if I give you a high five or a fist bump or like I give you a hug or like you know whatever if I'm like physically touching you at all that means I fucks with you like that doesn't mean I want to give you head but that means that like I vibe with you like I like you as a friend you know but I can't just assume that that's what that's how everyone else feels when they're like physically affectionate you know what I mean like, there's this one boss that I have that doesn't always work in our store, but every once in a while he'll show up. And, like, the last time he was at our store, he, like, grabbed my cheek while I was smiling and was like, hey, like that. I'm like, the fuck? And then today I was, like, getting ice from the ice bin and he was, like, walking by and he, like, grabbed my ponytail and, like, brushed it. But, like, I have another co-worker who does that, too, but, like, we're cool. Like, we're friends, so it makes sense for us. But it doesn't make a whole lot of sense for my boss to be doing that. I don't know. I don't know where I'm going with this. I'm kind of just, like, saying all of my thoughts out loud, and I'm probably not making any sense at all, and I don't know where I'm going with this at all. I'm just... I don't know. Thinking out loud. Maybe, maybe people think that I'm prettier than how I think. And that's a weird thing to be coming to terms with because I always thought it was like the opposite. Like I always thought that like other people thought that I was uglier than how I see myself and more annoying than how I see myself. But maybe it's the other way around, you know? People be paying attention. People be watching my Snapchat stories. People be, you know, engaging in my social media posts. So obviously, if they didn't like me, then they wouldn't be doing all that, you know? I don't know. I know that that made no sense at all, and you're probably watching this and listening to this. Like, this girl... It's on drugs. No, I've just been awake since 3.30 in the morning. <laughs> and it is 4.15 p.m. And I need to... Aww. One of my coworkers put this in this video. I'm up to you. She's so nice. Also, I have... And it's basically the same hours that I work at McDonald's, so I'm gonna, I'm just gonna go, do the interview, discuss what the pay will be like, what the hours will look like, what my schedule will look like, because I don't make enough. I mean, I make enough right now to get by, but I'm not making enough to put a significant amount into savings, or investments, or, um... Or really for spending, like, at all, you know? And so when I get my braces in my car, I just want to have, like, an extra cushion there. So that way I will not have to keep using my credit cards. Like, the whole point, my goal for this year was to get out of credit card debt. As long as I don't move out and I just stay here and I just keep paying them, eventually by the end of the year I should be out of debt. But... I can't, if I continue 
working the hours that I'm working, I'm not gonna, that's not gonna happen. I'm not gonna be able to save. And I, I need to save. Like, I don't wanna live here until I'm 40. Like, I, I'm a grown woman. Like, I wanna move out at some point. <laughs> so, anyways, I will see you guys later. Thank you for tuning in. <laughs> Good morning, I got Dunkin' Zonuts. I got a large iced coffee. I finally got the coffee I've been telling you guys I wanted to been trying for the past like a few weeks now. I got a large iced coffee, three butter pecan swirl, two French vanilla swirl, two blueberry shots, and four cream. I um It's just too good. Like, screenshot this. Get this. That's seriously too fucking good. I sent to my group chat a, um... It's not even 6 o'clock in the morning, by the way. Sorry, my day. It is 5.55. Oh my god, angel number. Angel number, it's time for change. Your life's about to change. 5.55 five, five energy. <laughs> I, um, sent my group chat a video of me trying that coffee, like, the first sip that I took. And I just kept moaning, oh fuck. Because it, <laughs> cause it's just so good. Um, uh, 10 out of 10. I will once again show you. This is not a brand endorsement of Dunkin' Donuts. I would make love to this coffee if I could best believe. I also got the two Valentine's Day donuts. The um, brownie batter one and then this one is I think called Cupid's Choice. So this one's stuffed with vanilla creme and this one's stuffed with brownie flavored chocolate flavored uh, Finland. I'm going to cut them in half and then give the other half to my little sister because she deserves it. Because I love her. And then the last thing that I got, my go-to breakfast sandwich from Dunkin', fun fact, is... Ah! My chair is falling. <laughs> is um, the sausage, egg, and cheese on a croissant, but no egg, extra sausage because I don't like egg. Really be fucking with egg, so I got a double sausage on my croissant. But I got the white cheddar cheese this time instead of American cheese just to try it and see if I like it. I just wanted to be a little zesty, I just want to try something different, and it's really yummy. Where are my manners? Did you want a bite? Here, take a bite. Take a bite. Look at that bite right there. Anyways, I just wanted to say good morning. I'm getting crumbs everywhere. I just want to say good morning, and I'm about to film my next video for next week. Weird vibes. Why is it getting blurry? Just focus. Just focus on me. Some weird vibes were happening this morning. But I'm trying to not let it get under my skin. I'm trying to remain in good spirits. Focus about myself. Worry about myself. And try to figure out how to do what I need to do today. I have, um, it's a busy day today. I have my interview at four. And I need to go to the bank. I would like to go before my interview so that way when I get out of my interview I will already have money in my account so I can just like go get food somewhere um but there's a dilemma I guess now with how I'm gonna get there so genuinely I envy people who have parents that like want them to be independent because this shit is just i don't know i don't want to like get on here and be complaining it's a good day i got Dunkin' donuts it is yummy
it's gonna be a good day. I will see you in the next clip. Hey guys. You know what I don't like about this camera? I don't like that it's so like zoomed in. Look, stop. You zoom in even more. I don't, I don't want that. I want to zoom out. But I feel like the farthest it goes, like that's still too close. You know what I mean? I don't know how to fix that. Anyways, do you guys like my makeup? I did it extra special just for you. So. So you should go watch my last video because by the time this video is up, that video will already have been up. So go watch my everyday makeup tutorial if you want to achieve this look. She's super cute. I feel so like cutesy right now. Anyways, I'm high as fuck. Not, not from weed. No. From this. Anyways. I'll take you with me later tonight. I'm about to go share these donuts with my sister. And go say hi to her candy cats. So this one is brownie batter. Hmm. Is it like filled? Or is it yeah. Filled? Which half do you want? I think that one has more half the filling in it. Can I grab it? Yeah. <laughs> and then this one, I think, it said like cream. Like a Boston cream, I guess. <gasps> Ready? This one's really good. Which one's that one? Does it taste like a brownie? Mm-hmm. Mm. I'm not even a chocolate girly, but it's good. I don't know, it's a lot of chocolate for like a donut. I got that 7.5 out of 10. Hurts my teeth because I have cavities. What's your rating? The brownie one? I'm trying to swing out. Um, no. Probably. Hmm. Oh, my teeth hurt so bad now. I'd say 7 for this one. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> It just hurts so bad. It's getting my cavities filled. Hey guys, what's up? Oh, I thought it's my battery. It's gonna How's it going? What are you up to today? I got another new package. So I'm gonna open it. I'm sorry, I'm annoying the shit out of myself. That's all the updates I have for now. Hello, I'm home from the job interview. I'm gonna sit down and tell you how it went. Let me turn my mirror around so you can see me. But like, first of all, my fit. I'm wearing my Uggs, my short ones. It's giving cunt, like. I'm 
this shit off. Let me just start by saying that was the quickest job interview in my life. So I pull up to this little this little gas station that the deli is in. I'm like, hi, I'm here for an interview. And he was like sitting in this little like office, right? And he goes, okay, I'll be right with you. I sit down in the, in the little, in the little table that they had there. And I think I'm just gonna bring you down here, to be honest. Well, let me show you what I got from there. Oh, let me um not show the the name of the deli. Don't want to dox myself, but I got a turkey wrap. Oof, that's about to be bussin'. And then I got. Stay. And then I got. Pasta salad. Trecola anti pasta salad. So I'm about to eat that shit up. When I was getting back into the car after I went to the bank, I fucking bonked my head, like the top of my head. My sunglasses like it dented my scalp. And so now like the top of my scalp is like all bruised and it hurted. Anyways, so I sit down and he's asking me about McDonald's. He doesn't really ask me much. He just asked me like what my hours were there. And I said, you know, the person that I spoke to on my email, um, said like what the hours were like availability wise and I told him what my my available hours were you know and he was like so he wrote down my availability and then he was like yeah so the job's not hard you um just make food like we have an air fryer back there and you basically just like make breakfast sandwiches and sandwiches and stuff like that um he gave me a little tour of the the gas station there was a beer cave um and then he just like was like write down your email and i'll let you know and i'll get back to you and i was like okay um he seemed really nervous he said he was the manager so i don't know i don't know but yeah it was like the quickest interview i've ever had in my life i feel like he barely asked me anything they probably saw my resume and they were like, we don't even need to like interview this girl. Like she's hired. Like she's already like had plenty of food experience. Like she knows what she's doing. It's gonna be quite different from McDonald's in the sense that it's just very chill and laid back and understimulating. It's a very laid back, not very busy gas station. And he said I'll be working by myself if I were to work like a certain amount of hours. I'm not gonna tell you what hours though. Um, but I'm not trying to do that because that's like one of the reasons why I left Subway was because I didn't want to work by myself. And one thing about McDonald's, I love my coworkers. Like my coworkers at McDonald's, we family. Like we family. Like those are my fucking dogs. Like those are my kids. Like you know. Um, but I am excited to be eating food that is not McDonald's at the same time, and it's like actual real food. They had vodka penne in American chop suey, and I really wanted it, but I didn't get it because I didn't have the money. But it looks so good, and I wanted it. Um, yeah, so that's how my interview went, and then I went to the bank and made a deposit. Um, because I had some cash, and I don't, I don't, I don't buy things with cash. If I buy things, I buy them online, so. I'm about to grub. And then probably edit my video that I filmed this morning. First of all. It's giving cunt. It's giving cuntiology. Like I went to college and studied cunt. Literally. <laughs> I'm about to be like ice spice like I'm about to be literally quite literally shaking my AZZ in the deli like I'm about to be working in a deli like I'm about to be shaking my my big fat
I was trying to think of a word for ass that would be funny and quirky. My big fat dump truck. But I don't got shit back there. Anyways. Yeah. This shall be an interesting new era. I'm not leaving McDonald's, by the way. I'm just securing a second job for a little extra. I think I already said that. I don't remember if I said that or not, but yeah i'll see you in the next clip i'm home from work fit check fit check oh my god oh my god oh my god it slays it goes so hard fit check oh my god I got this jacket from Depop. I don't remember if I showed y'all this or not, but I got this jacket from Depop. It's super cozy, super comfy. Billabong is the brand. Not sponsored. I just recently discovered a new clothing brand that I like. Paxton sells them, so just putting y'all on. I'm not wearing a bra, so my titties are saggy. Sorry about that. Anyways, I'm gonna lay down and talk to y'all for a little bit before I go on a night. Is that okay? Is that okay? Is that fine? Okay. God. Should I turn my... Yeah, I'm gonna turn my, my mirror light on. Please hold. Shout out Maddie if you're watching this. She drew me an adorable little platypus. Full focus. Oh my god, focus on the fucking platypus. Can you see it? Can you see it? And then she drew me a giraffe. Anyways, you can't really see them, but I appreciate it. So thank you, Maddie, if you're watching. You're a real one. I'm trying to do a heart. Anyways, we have the Shamrock Shakes back at work. So everybody and their fucking mom and their aunt and their brother and their sister and their fucking cousins and their, and their step-siblings and their half-siblings and their dog. Everybody wanted a Shamrock Shake today. And you know what? That's fine. I get it. Like, I get it. Like, I totally understand. Boycott McDonald's. Free Palestine. I stole this. I didn't pay for it. I literally just made it for myself. So, anyways. Because fuck McDonald's. Like, fuck you. That completes another week in the books. We did it. We survived. We are here. We are on Earth, simply existing for what reason we don't know but we exist so all we can do is make the most out of it all we can do is make the most out of existing i lost my i had a little sparkly lesbian pride flag lesbian pride flag i don't think anybody knows that but whatever the not the astro flux i'm sorry i had a little sparkly thing right here and it fell off so i'm gonna have to buy a new one <laughs> not right now no but eventually I will. When you are seeing this, actually the day that you see this, because this is going up on Thursday, I'm starting my new job on Thursday. So when you're viewing this right now, I will be at my new second job. I am starting my second job next week at the deli. I'm not going to tell you the name of the deli because I'm not trying to have creepy stalkers come and find me. Okay? Your girl is a McBaddy and I'm going to be shaking my ass in the deli like Ice Spice. So, I start Thursday. I'm super excited for that. So, I will be filming another weekly vlog next week. 
and then I think the week after that I'm gonna take a break from the weekly vlogs just because like my schedule is gonna be um, a little bit more hectic if you will I think the only day I have off is Sundays I'm not gonna be working here for very long probably until like May I just need to save up a little bit of money it's like grind time you know what I'm saying like if I just don't spend any of the money that I make at the deli and I just like save it like my McDonald's money will be like bill money and then deli money will be safe because I am going to open my business back up. I'm going to open Divine Candle Co. back up before summer. Yes, I am determined, but there is a lot to be done before relaunch. So I'm just trying to like organize my life a little bit day by day, hour by hour. Like right now, for example, it's almost, it's 3.58. So it's four o'clock. If I go to bed at like seven, I have three hours. What can I do in those three hours? You know what I mean? Am I gonna sit here and scroll on Twitter and Instagram? No. I'm gonna plug this into my computer. I'm gonna start editing my weekly vlog. And then pretty much all day tomorrow, I'll edit my weekly vlog. So that way it'll be ready for upload on Thursday. But also tomorrow I have to film my next Tuesday vlog, unless I can film it on Wednesday. Because if I have Wednesday off, then I'll be able to film it Wednesday. This is what I mean. Like, this is how I have to, like, organize my life. Because I am now working full-time, but two part-time jobs. On top of trying to build a personal brand on YouTube. Because I think once I establish, like, a personal brand online, then I can kind of, like, redirect people's attention to, like, my candle business and my music and my... Uh, my vending machine business I want to start like I can just kind of like redirect people's attention to different things if that makes sense um, But also I love vlogging like I love just like talking to the camera and just like this is such a vibe right now You know what I mean? Do I have anything else to say? I don't know if I do. I am going to be filming a vision board video. So my Tuesday upload that you watched on Tuesday because you're watching this on a Thursday that was a makeup tutorial. The next Tuesday upload will be a vision board video. I already have all of my things that I'm going to put on it. I just have to like print them out. So I'm probably going to start that tomorrow. I'm trying to think like do I want to like portion out my day tomorrow like I think I have laundry to do too. So if I do like the first half of the day vision board video, like just film it, like get ready, get dressed, film it. And then the second half of the day, edit my weekly vlog. But here's the thing about the weekly vlogs, okay? They're usually about an hour long and they take a long fucking time to edit. And they also take over 24 hours to upload like when I go into YouTube and click upload it takes like a full entire day to upload so it pretty much needs to be done editing by because Monday and Tuesday when I go home from work I'm not gonna want to sit down and edit like I'm gonna be way too tired I'm not going to have, like, the mental energy to edit. So, I pretty much have to dedicate my entire day off tomorrow to editing my weekly vlog. 
And I don't want that to sound like I'm like, oh, I have to spend my entire day editing. Like, no, like I'm excited. Like I'm excited to wake up, get my coffee, sit on my desk, and edit my little YouTube vlog. Um, but I'm just trying to think. I'm just thinking out loud right now. Like this is the life of a YouTuber. You really have to like plan around. But then again, I also have Wednesday off. I think. I don't know what my schedule is. I have to check it tomorrow morning. There's an app we have where you can like check your um your schedule. But I believe I will have Wednesday off because I'm not starting my new job until Thursday. So if I have Wednesday off, then I can just edit on Wednesday. Or I could edit my weekly vlog on Sunday, tomorrow, and then film my vision board video on Wednesday. And then edit it Wednesday because those videos don't take very long to edit. Maybe like a couple hours. So. Yeah. I'm excited to start the new job. It's going to be very different. There are definitely some pros and cons already. Like already off the bat that I've kind of taken note of and as I said I'm not going to be there for very long um yeah I guess we'll just we'll just save the pros and cons for later at a different time I don't know if, I'm, if I really want to like get into it right now I'm not trying to like speak things into existence or like worry about things when I don't need to worry about them type beat not stress myself out, not psych myself out. I am excited. I feel like it will be a good contrast from McDonald's and I feel like it might be like the perfect little thing that I needed in my life. Like I needed like a third, like it's really just McDonald's home, McDonald's home, McDonald's home. It's not like, you no, know, but now I have like a new thing, like a new era of my life. So I'm excited about that. yeah i guess that's it for now thank you for tuning in to another week in kiki's life i know my life is just so interesting like everybody's like wow your life is so interesting kiana like like you just live such an interesting life like i wish i was you like you're so cool like you're so pretty you're so funny you're just the most interesting person in the world and i just like want to know what what your life entails you know so now you know. Now you um can stop losing sleep at night. I'm sorry that I kept that information from you for so long. I just, you know. <laughs> anyway. That's it. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for being here. If you like this video, make sure to give it a big fat obese thumbs up. Not just a skinny thumbs up. Not a mid-sized thumbs up, but an obese thumbs up. Comment. Subscribe to be a silly goose. Subscribe to be in the silly goose pond and not the serious geese pond. We're not serious geese over here. Sometimes we are when we when we need to be, rightfully so. But we let our hair down over here. We're silly goose. Like we have a silly goose time. Like we're funny. We're goofy. We giggle. We make the most out of our circumstances. We take care of ourselves. So let me just do my outro. We take care of ourselves. We stay hydrated. We drink our water. We give ourselves orgasms because those are needed. That's included in the take care of yourself. What else do we do? We make the most out of our circumstances. We do more of what makes us happy. We prioritize ourselves. We prioritize our own mental health, our own well-being, our own fulfillment in life. And with that, I will see you next Tuesday. My sister pointed that out in one of my videos. She was like, you said see you next Tuesday in your video. You call me a cunt. And I was like, I'm not calling you guys that. I'm just saying I will see you next Tuesday. I will see you on Tuesday. Like this is going up on Thursday, so I will see you Tuesday. And that video will most likely be a vision board video. So stay tuned for that if you want to learn how to make a vision board. Okay. I love you. I love you so much. And I hope you feel that energy. I hope you feel like the nurturing energy in me just like giving you a hug. Okay, if you needed one. So, 
Not my Apple Watch dinging. What do you want? Stand goal achieved. I'm not standing up. I'm laying down. I was standing for 10 hours today. I love you. I'll see you Tuesday. Bye.